channel in this video I'm going to discuss and going to show you how to configure SUSE HAE cluster running in SUSE 12 I have prepared a few videos in SUSE 11 version those are uh, already available in my YouTube channel if you have not watched those videos please watch those videos to have a better understanding and in this video or coming videos which I'm going to prepare those are going to be in SUSE 12 and th uh, and there it will be going to run SUSE HAE cluster so you can see this is my node which I'm going to uh, configure a SUSE HAE so those are the two nodes like 0 01 and 0 02 and they have installed SUSE Linux Enterprise server version and SP is 2 so to start with uh, the SUSE J cluster configuration first thing is we need to ensure that we have the repository configured so I have I have copied the DVD for my SUSE Linux server inside this location CD slash OS ISO you can see th these are the file and for HE or add-on files I have kept those all the files in the under this location and if I do a jipper error I can see there is one default repository which I'm going to remove it and I'm going to create newly okay to create a repository we just need to run yest command it is easy to do through yest so that is why I'm going to configure the repository through yes and select software repository here and let me just delete this repository which is uh, default configured and now I'm going to add a new repository and it is a local directory and let me specify the name the name is OS repo and path is under slash I OS ISO and next just accept the license agreement next I have added the OS repository and now time to add the HAE add-on packages and I'll just give a name called HA repo and path is slash ha so i'm going to do the same thing in other node as well so let me just double check whether my repository is created and those are the two repository and let me create the same thing in node one as well this is my node one and let me just run the command yes and go inside software repository let me delete this one and I'm almost through of configuration of my repository so it is done so let me just run the command again and see so this is the repository created done so next step is to update my slash etc host file and you can see there are two entry I have already updated on both the node and if I just run slash etc host here you can see the same thing so the next step, next step is to install the packages to install the packages 
there's a command jeeper you might have aware this is a built-in command uh, provided by suse and minus in is through in we can uh, install it and first what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check the package information and then i'm going to install it so ha slash is the pattern name where all the packages are resides so here the pattern information repository this is the name of the pattern and these are the packages which are required by to configure my hae cluster and status you can see there is nothing uh, nothing has installed so what i'm going to do i'm going to install now so instead of pattern info i'll just do minus in minus t pattern and slash hnfs ha slash so it is giving a uh, information about the packages which are going to install about 69 packages which are going to install and the pattern name information and the repository and which product it is using it is so say hae high availability extension 12 and sp version 2 and there are recommended packages those are the recommended packages so there are basic information which is giving here and the size is going to be around total of 117 mb so i'll just say yes to install the packages it is saying a uh, license agreement information i'll just skip it and yes to install it let me do the same thing in other node so this is my first node jeeper minus in minus t pattern h a l s c o r s l e s s yes skip the license agreement yes and there is about 28 packages which is going to not 28 sorry it is uh, about 69 with all the dependency which is required it is going to install and let me check the other node status where we are so it is about 60 packages installed as of now okay so i'll tell you the next step what is going to be meanwhile my packages are installing the next step is to check your firewall because we don't want anything to be blocked by firewall so we have to ensure that that is disable and once we have done that we can initiate the cluster configuration or set up a cluster and there are few changes uh, in suche ache and uh, suche ache 12 11 and 12 so those are the uh, most important things which i'm going to discuss not only this video I in mean coming videos so you probably have seen a uh, package is called hawk so let me just check where it is so here it is a hawk tool in our, uh, in suse 11 ha we were yeah, we were using hawk and it is an it is now an enhanced new version and it is pretty uh, it looks pretty cool so when uh, administrating through hawk and earlier in suse ache cluster we we had something called crm gui so currently in suse suse 12 server in a chi product we don't have crm uh, crm gui instead of it is only hawk uh, it is because through hawk you can do almost all the uh, almost all the configuration settings or uh, you can also manage almost everything through hawk so that is why they remove uh, crm gui this time and they have focused in hawk so my package is installed in node 2 and in node 1 also it is done so next step is to check the firewall to check the firewall you can just run yest firewall
and it is already disabled here and I have stopped the services so we can just in ensure before starting your cluster setup so in first node it is stop and second node I hope this is also stop let me just double check and here it is stop state so not an issue so next thing is to set up the cluster so earlier in SUSE 11 uh, JE cluster we had something called Sleha in it so now it has replaced from Sleha in it to HA cluster in it okay and there are few more command let me just show you so here it is uh, HA cluster in it join and remove so earlier it was Sleha in it Sleha join and Sleha remove so now they replace to Sleha HA cluster in it okay so let me just initiate it and it is giving a warning for NTP that can be ignored I just say yes and it asks it is creating a sync file and giving me a network configuration information and my network subnet is 169.0 so I'm going to go with default and multicast IP will going to be this one and default port is 5405 and it is asking whether I'm going to use an SVD so for SVD I'm going to prepare a different video so for now I'm just going to say as no here and it is trying to start the cluster service and you can also see a uh, hawk HTTP IP information has given here and the port is 7630 and the username is HA cluster and password, uh, password is default to Linux you can change the password as per your requirement so it is just trying to set up the cluster and trying to start the cluster and now there is a new thing in SUSE 12 HAE cluster which is configure an administrator IP address so what is this optionally configure an additional an administrator virtual IP address the purpose of this IP address to provide a single IP that can be used to interface with the cluster rather than using the IP address of any specific cluster node so it, in, it is nothing but uh, a heartbeat IP which is going to be dedicated for uh, the cluster and the cluster will go to going to communicate with this IP so uh, earlier in SUSE uh, 11 HAE cluster that, op uh, that uh, option was not there but it is introduced in SUSE 12 HAE cluster now and you can specify while configuring your cluster so what I'm going to do I'm just going to give an IP called 192.168.192.168 uh, 192, 169.143 so this is the IP which I'm going to use and let me I'll just say yes first here then I have to give the IP 192.168.169.143 and it is trying to configure and it is done and the log information you can able to find it inside this bootstrap.log file okay so now let me just try to check the status crm underscore mon is the same command which is we used to do in 11 ha cluster and i can see there is one node and this is the ip and it is called admin ip right so the first node is done so next step is to add add the other node so currently only the slash 02 is added in the cluster and now i'm going to use the uh, or going to join the other no node in the cluster so this is my sec uh, second node which is slash 01 and i'm going to run the same command ha cluster init yes same subnet ip and the multicast ip it is giving a different ip than the node 02 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy 
the multicast IP from here and going to give here. So, it will automatically going to add in that cluster as it is now and it is trying to start the service and earlier we had the cluster service or the service name is uh, openas and in suse 12 it is pacemaker so now i have started but it is giving an error but i believe my system is joined just let me check say so, minus command r1 and it is joined so now you can see there is two node which is added in the cluster this is the heartbeat ip and initially it was rc open as service or you would have checked like slash dc ini dot d open as service but now it has replaced since it is a system d system uh, in suse 12 so instead of that command we need to check system cdl status and instead of open as we need to check pacemaker and you can see pacemaker is running and it is active and let me check the other node as well system ctl status pacemaker and i can see it is also running so there are many things i will going to show you the hawk part in next video and also the configuration of sbd in coming videos and there are many new features which is in introduced in suset 12 ha cluster i'm going to discuss more and more about them and in this video i'm going to do in this video, video tutor tutorial i'm going to do a cool thing which is going to be a oracle installation and oracle will going to act as a uh, ha which is going to run in pacemaker, pacemaker cluster so there are more more videos is going to come uh, for this tutorial okay so please stay tuned and please subscribe my channel and if you like this content please also hit like for this video okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a good day